All right, so let's talk about what's new and happening in the mobile space and what can Telerik DevCraft do for you in the R3 release. We begin with one of my favorite product suites, Telerik UI for Xamarin. Now, before we jump in though, I feel like whenever we talk about mobile, we should really talk about all of the choices that you have because there are a lot of ways in which you can build a mobile app today. The choice of technology that you pick should really depend upon the skills that you have, the audience that you're trying to cater to, and the type of app that you're building. And no matter what be your technology stack, Telerik DevCraft should always give you the polished UI controls and the frameworks to get the job done. If you have the time and resources, by all means, go and build a native app. And we give you UI for iOS, UI for Android, and UI for Windows Phone or UWP to get the job done. You might want to go build a hybrid app with Apache Cordova, and we'll give you Telerik Platform as an end-to-end mobile solution. You might want to build a truly native cross-platform app with JavaScript, and we give you frameworks like NativeScript or NativeScript with Angular. But for most .NET developers, the most enticing option might be the cross-compiled one, and that's where Xamarin comes in. Now, as we all know, at the beginning of 2016, there was a blissful union with the Microsoft acquisition of Xamarin. Now, this has interesting repercussions on .NET developers. Microsoft has now truly democratized cross-platform mobile development with .NET. With Xamarin, you can now truly reuse your existing skills in C-Sharp and XAML and target iOS, Android, Mac, and a host of other ecosystems. There is literally no barrier to entry with Xamarin being free and open source and included in the Microsoft Dev Stack. Now, with the Xamarin architecture, your goal has always been to share the C-sharp business logic between different cross-platform apps. But to me, the more enticing option is Xamarin Forms, where you also get to share your UI logic. You get to write an abstracted UI, which Xamarin turns around and renders as native UI on iOS, Android, and Windows. So essentially, you truly have a single code base from where you target all different platforms. Now, the Xamarin promise is pretty great, but once you start building a truly professional app, you can feel the need for some polished UI, because there are some things you really do not want to recreate. Enter Telerik UI for Xamarin. This is our comprehensive suite of highly performant and polished UI controls for all your Xamarin apps. Xamarin iOS, Xamarin Android, Xamarin Mac, and Xamarin Forms. You get truly native cross-platform UI, so you can build out your Xamarin apps from a single code base. And the best part is, it works the same exact way both from Visual Studio on Windows and Xamarin Studio on a Mac. Now, we are pretty pumped to announce that with the R3 DevCraft release, Telerik UI for Xamarin now has official support for UWP or Universal Windows Platform apps. So now from a single Xamarin Forms app, you get to target all platforms, iOS, Android, and all of Windows devices. Pretty cool, right? Now, I won't go into demos, but just to give you a glimpse of some of the polished UI that you get with UI for Xamarin. There are charts, lots and lots of different chart types with interactive features like pan and zoom, selections and annotations. There is an excellent list view because it turns out most apps need to display a list of things. The Telerik list view is on steroids with features like pull to refresh, flexible layouts, easy data binding, and item reordering and swipe actions. There is a flexible data form that quickly maps your business object to a forms UI. You get UI elements that are matched to the data types in your object and you get built-in validations for data entry. There's a beautiful side drawer which helps in app organization and navigation. You could embed any content in the sliding panel with customizable effects and slide out transitions. There's a highly flexible calendar control with support for appointments and culture localizations built in. Now these are just a few samples of the UI controls that you get with Telerik UI for Xamarin. How do you go about including them in your app? Well, simple, you can download them but the easiest way is with the NuGet feed. Simply set up a NuGet source that points to the Telerik feed. Go ahead and add a NuGet package to your project and pull in Telerik UI for Xamarin. The best part is it works the exact same way on Visual Studio as well as Xamarin Studio. So there you have it. Do not reinvent the wheel, but use Telerik UI for Xamarin to light up all of your Xamarin apps. So next, let's continue our mobile discussion with UWP or Universal Windows Platform. I think UWP gets a lot of traction nowadays because of futuristic devices like the HoloLens or the Surface Hub being able to run the same apps. So let's talk about what's new and happening in Telerik UI for UWP. So we realized the importance of UWP for .NET developers and we're gonna continue investing in the product suite. It's a pretty mature product suite now with 20 plus polished and performant UI controls for all of your Windows 10 apps. You get some of the popular ones like the grids, the list views, the charts, and the graphs and gauges, stuff that you really do not want to recreate by hand. And new in the R3 DevCraft release, you get to see performance improvements all across the product suite, as well as the list view gains some features like the frozen group headers and a fun staggered layout. 
And here's a quick view of some of the more popular UWP controls that we have in the suite. Things like a performant grid, a flexible list view, maps, different types of charts, and lots and lots of input controls. And all of this is out of the box and ready for you to light up your UWP apps. So that's all I have for mobile.